what is up guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new please subscribe i post every monday wednesday friday as much as possible this is my 2000 mr2 spider it's got the seal performance wide body kit apr performance wing stuff like that just gonna walk around you guys probably saw the beginning of the video but it's the car it's pretty cool um and one thing that i really need to do because if you guys know my car i have a custom exhaust right here and it's a bumper exit, so it goes through the bash bar like that. Um, it's pretty cool, it sounds good. I'll post a video um, right now of the sound clip. But my stock bash bar is cut right there. You guys can see kind of up there, uh, it's cut. So I need to um, make a bash bar that'll actually work and function as a normal bash bar, meaning the bumper will collapse at a certain speed when rear ends are crash and also press some structural integrity because this one just flexes because it's cut. So um, I went this for temporary, I knew that I had to get to this. So I have a big thing coming this weekend, so I'm going to be painting it the same color as that. So I might as well make a custom bash bar right now and my friend Connie is going to help me weld it. So I'm going to take off the stock kit right now, um, which is kind of a pain because to remove the bumper, I have to remove the whole rear flare kit, which is really annoying. But I'm gonna tab and lapse you guys, and I'm gonna start. So what I have here is three 36 inch by one inch diameter by one sixteenth inch wall thickness. So that's how thick the metal is. These are plain steel. These are weldable steel. Um, I was thinking galvanized steel, um, but galvanized steel has a coating on it, like a zinc coating on top, and it's really, really bad to weld. Um, it's not supposed to be weld. You're supposed to take off that coating before you weld. So I don't want to make Kung die of um, some disease that he's going to be breathing in. So I decided to just get normal steel, make his life a little bit easier. And he wants me to cut it. So um, I also have these two steel plates, same thickness, making it easier to weld because um, if they're the same thickness, it's like soldering, um, then they're both going to melt at the same rate. So right here, what I want to do is I'm going to make it so the rear bumper part is exposed. So the um, rear bumper usually has like a mesh or like that black plastic stuff that covers. I'm going to remove that and just be easier to imagine once it's kind of designed. But I want it to be kind of like this, like that. And then metal plate, metal plate towards the end right here where these holes are, metal plate. That's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it, design this, I have an angle grinder so thanks to Jared, um, go ahead and design this, measure things out, and yeah, I'll time lapse, I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, alright, so this is kind of the design I have mocked up, I'm trying to block my license plate, but, um, it's like this. Two metal plates that I bent and cut on the sides, metal bar, and then one diagonal support, and the other I didn't put because my tip is going to be there right there. So that's what it's going to look like. 
What's up, guys? Over at Kung's house now. This guy's hard top painted. I'm clean. You ever see white ones? Alright, so it's the next day. Um, sorry I didn't get to record after I got back last night. I got pretty late and I kind of forgot, honestly. But this is the bash bar. It turned out really, really good. I'm gonna start installing that once um, I get it painted. And so I'm going to start the painting process today. Guys, I just went top down. It's the next day. It's sunny all of a sudden. So we gotta do some work on this car. Pick up where we last left off. So with the rear end, um, we got the bash bar finished. This is inside like I just showed you. Um, I need to um, remove my rear bumper and my kit because it's one piece right here. So I gotta remove the kit, both sides on the rear, remove the bumper, remove the stock bash bar, and figure out where I'm gonna mount it. Once I figure out where I'm gonna mount it, I'm probably gonna start sanding the bash bar because I mean, it's a new bash bar. I'll go bring it right now and uh, paint it. I picked up some, some black paint because I was going to do white, like I said, but decided to just pick this up, get up some nice black paint instead. Um, and we're gonna be painting the new bash bar and we're gonna do a bumper cut. So can't wait to do that. Man, this is definitely a nerve wracking process for sure. But we're gonna get this done today and yeah, let's do this. Guys, so the crash beam is done being painted. I came back, it's now all dry. Dry to the touch, let it focus. I'm um, it's not focusing. Dry to the touch, touch, and it's very, very smooth. Love it. Got back from the store, and inside here, I got the brackets and stuff like that that I need for a different project, the next video. For this one, let's finish it off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bumper. Uh, remove the kit, like I said, and then start mocking up the holes. And uh, I'm gonna be working on a couple of different things in future videos. So stay tuned. So this is kind of like a three in one video, but um, you're just seeing one part of it right now, which is the crash beam install. Um, there's gonna be two other parts, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bumper, the body kit, and um, we're gonna start putting up the holes, drilling, and mounting the license plate for the bumper exit. So. So excited, let's do this. All right, got the old crash beam off. Here's a new one. There it is. I'm gonna start mocking it up to see where I need to drill. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to finally get a new crash bar on. I just did a bumper cut, looks super mean. Maybe just straight down, straight down, very good cuts. And we're gonna have the exposed middle section, it's gonna look so good, cannot wait. Bye bye bumper piece. Guys, this thing looks so cool. Oh my god. The exhaust sticking out. Stoked. 